Spookity Hollow is a 3D platformer collectathon where you're tasked with exploring, well, Spookity Hollow. You customize a cat, and then you're dropped into a spooky little valley with a toast of mysteries, set pieces, and general oddities. And boy, the first 30 minutes of this game are a riot while you get a grasp on reality. The primary goal of the game is just to explore and collect, so you're given very little direction aside from some hints from the cheap cheap NPCs. You'll be collecting golden and orange pumpkins, reading stories, stumbling into many games, drinking potions that alter your size, chasing ghost fish, flying camera drones, and why? Well, just cuz. Only a couple of those things lead to game completion, and the rest are there for flavor. It's a very open experience. Speaking of open, the map is massive, but the movement mechanics, as you've been seeing, have been made ridiculous enough to allow for easy traversal anyway. You can sprint, pounce, and double jump, or various combinations of those three things. It looks like I have a cheat code enabled for movement, but I don't. That's just how the controls are. Some people say 3D platformers are all about the movement, and I've never experienced movement quite this free before. There's also something kind of special about the way the game just throws you into this huge sandbox, places a collectible tally in the corner, and sets you loose, all while still maintaining many of the elements that make collectathons enjoyable. Clever mazes that test your observational skills, creative collectible placement that require precise movement and pathfinding, Weird bosses that feel a bit out of place with the rest of the design, it's all here, in its own uniquely spookity way. Of the three primary collectible types, one of them stands out as a bit unusual for the genre in particular. The kitties you're meant to find, 13 in total, wander around the map of their own will. They favor the same general areas, but on repeat playthroughs they might be somewhere you've never seen them before, just because they decided to go for a swim, or sit under a different tree this time. This makes them by far the most interesting objective, and collecting a big crowd of kitties to follow you as you jump around definitely adds to the satisfaction of the progression. Overall, I know it's probably easy to look at Spookity's weird movement, weird theming, general weird personality, and just laugh at it. But when I was done laughing, there was an actual exploration-focused platformer underneath, and although it's short, I enjoyed my time enough to play through it thrice. Bravo, you strange, strange little game.